Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from Micah Geosystems in Houston, and today we're going to take a look at Infinity Office software. We're going to import some data that was collected with the Leica GPS receiver, some static data, and then we're going to take a look at how to export this data into a Rhinex format. First thing I'm going to discuss is the antenna reference plane, the ARP. So here's a picture of a GS15. The ARP is where we'd measure to. So even in RTK, when you put a two meter pole, the ARP is measured to the bottom of the GPS sensor. Here's a GS16, and you can see it's the bottom of the silver screw on the receiver. Um, so typically that's where you want to do your check measurements, whether it's static or RTK. Some clients want to measure to the, the rubber ring, but this is important. So the antenna reference plane is where we want to take our physical measurement of the antenna height. Okay. And um, if I was using a tripod setup, typically we'd, this is an AX1202 for a GS10 or a 1230. And if you had a height hook, uh, we'd read the, the reading here and we'd add an offset. That offset is typically 0 0.360 of a meter. So we'd add that 0.36 meter to the height measurement here. And that would be the antenna height that we're going to send into Opus. Okay. Um, let's take a look. Here's some data that we imported in. And if we come back, we have two days worth of data down here. And we did some duration of the time and the date. And I can customize here what I want to see, the start time, the duration. So I right click, select columns, I have point ID, duration, and I can quickly take a look at, at the data I'm looking at. Now if I come back to features, typically that's what we're seeing when we first import data and all the static data is actually um, the CQ would be you know, like 5, 10 feet because it's not initializing, it's just navigated. Here's some points that were deleted. So if I go to GNSS and then click on this tab down here, I can see all my static data. Okay, so I got two days worth of data. These temporary points, I could right click and delete if I want to to clean it up. Okay, that's just six minutes worth of data. Let's take a look here. If we zoom in, I'll just scroll in to this day's worth of data. And this is interesting. If I take a look at this, this first shot that was taken up here, see how it's uh, whited out? That means they didn't collect static data. Now it's only for six seconds, so I could right click and delete that observation. But see how these other, these other uh, data source points are grayed out. That means they collected static data. So if these were white, the field crew didn't hit the measure button to record the static data. And that, that's how you can quickly check to make sure you got data there to export. Okay, so right now these points here, I've got 30 minutes worth of data. So I wanted to, if I just need these two points here, I can highlight them and then I can say export. And this is where the selection button really comes in handy because I don't want to export all this data. I'll just highlight the points that are highlighted here, the 21004 and the 2021 and hit selection. And what I can do now is come down and pick what type of data type that I want to export. So I'll scroll down and um, down near the bottom, there should be a Rhinex. Here it is. And you can pick what version you want to export. So this would be on Opus, so I'll pick 2.11. And in this case, the client collected GPS, GLONASS, and Beidou. I can uncheck. I don't fully trust the Russians, so I can say I just want GPS data. And then what I can do is hit export, and it'll export the Rhinex files. So if I come down here, um, and right click and open, it'll then show the observation file is really the file that I want to send in. Okay? And they had like half an hour's worth of data. So if I come here to Opus, um, here's the, the link, we would browse and pick that, that data format. And then we pick, here I got the Leica GS18, but you can basically click on here and pick what type of GPS receiver that you were observing with. Okay, so in this case, we're down to the Leica receivers, and I can just scroll down and pick the proper GPS antenna. In this case, is a 14, and that would apply the L1, L2 offsets to the ARP. And then we type in two meters using a two meter fixed type pole, but that would be the height measurement that you that you measure to your ARP. Then you type in your email address and send that data in. I would typically wait if you collected data. Um, static data, wait at least 24 hours to send your data in. 
that way it gives the um, core stations a chance to post that data. Um, if you wanted uh, precise infirmaries, you've got to wait at least 14 days. Um, typically, if you have longer baselines, like over 100 kilometers, the precise infirmaries will help tighten that up a little bit. Um, since we're working mainly in Houston, we don't have to worry too much about those longer baselines, but that's when you might want to use a precise infirmaries. So that pretty well sums up just a quick look at Infinity, how to export the data, and um, then how to send it to Opus. So I hope you found it uh, helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for listening.